Umbrellas are up. Ulan today. Ulan. It's, um, it's a little bit overcast today. Uh, last couple of days, 38 degrees. Yeah, 38 degrees. Um, right. I'm um, going to talk about assume. Mm, assume. Um, I've been seeing lots of uh, houses, cars, bikes, um, all for sale on Marketplace and uh, all for sale on um, other other sites here in Davao. Scooters, motorbikes. If you see a motorbike for assume, and the price of the motorbike is brand new, for instance, and it's a hundred thousand peso for a scooter or below, uh, or you're going to get a big, powerful bike which can be anything up to a million and a half pesos, and you see one of these lovely machines. For sale, and it will turn around and say something like uh, 2023 or 2022 scooter or motorbike uh, for sale. Assume in brackets, and then it will do a little bit of a description on the bike. So, when I was looking into this and talking to somebody. Uh, this guy the other day, he was explaining that um, somebody's gone and bought the bike, they put down the deposit, the minimum deposit, which is 30%. They've actually started making the regular payments because it's on HP, it's on uh, a loan, it's on an utang, utang, but they can't afford it or their circumstances change. And what they want to do is they want to sell the bike. So you go along, you turn around and want to buy the bike, it's second hand, you believe, like I do, you're going to get it cheaper. But that's not the case, because with the assume, what actually happens is you pay back to the person that's selling the bike the amount of money he's actually or she's actually made on the payment which is the down payment and the monthly payments so if they've had it for six months six monthly payments of 22,000 or 8,000 or whatever it is they're paying each month and then you pick up the rest of the loan for the period or the duration of the assume on the motorbike or the scooter then and this is what I find, found interesting. If you want to turn around and take that route, and I don't advise it, I'd advise you to go and buy a, a brand new bike because you're going to be paying exactly the same as the person selling the bike, yeah? Plus a little bit more because of the interest payments on uh, the assumed price. So buy new. Uh, keep away from assume on scooters um, and then when you turn around and you pay the money and you take over the payment process at the bank the documentation stays with the bank you then turn around and have to wait until the next emissions uh, update with LTO before you can change the paperwork. You don't actually own the vehicle or the scooter or the motorbike from the time you turn around and make the payment. So you give the money, then you have to wait until the emissions 
then apply for the emission in through the emissions to change the name on the uh, on the registration and the OCR and the CR strange that isn't it so if somebody bought a bike in February they couldn't pay for it and they wanted to register it in March you're gonna to have to wait 11 months before you can get it transferred into your name oh, a little bit different that one now scooters people don't turn around and take huge lengths of time they either take one or two years on the payment process if you're looking at a car the more expensive the car the more um, tax you pay because it's uh, known as luxury tax but if you're going to turn around and pick up an assumed car you're going to start the same process as you do with a scooter you're going to go around and you're going to look at it it's going to be on the market for 800 1 million peso because the person selling the car needs to get back the money they've tied themselves into with the agreement with the Toyotas of this world or the other ma or the other car manufacturers now I was there's a, there's a little catch here with these cars you could turn around and go to a Toyota garage and buy brand new which is what I would suggest because then you can haggle for a discount because you're a cash buyer but when you go to the Toyota or you go to one of these dealerships and you buy the car they tie you in to the loan agreement for say 60 months uh, and they work out that you're going to be paying I don't know 70,000 pesos a month you're going to be putting down 56,000 pesos as a deposit and the person has got to pay that 70,000 for 60 months yeah. and if you do all that math it's going to be about 400 500,000 peso more than if you turn around and bought it cash but because you're paying each month you've got a little bit you're only giving a little bit you're not turning around doing a big lump sum however if you're going to turn around and sell the vehicle and it's going to be an assume you've got the 70,000 a month has to be paid the person you're buying that car from if you're looking for an assume car and I don't recommend it guys I'm not here advocating it I'm advocating that it's a trap and you get into it you get dragged into it and it's a money pit you buy the car you give back the, the guy that's selling it the 50 the 56,000 deposit then you pay back all the monthly payments he's made or she's made on that car for maybe one year or two year and then you continue making the payments of 70,000 a month now the man who or woman who's selling the car doesn't own the title on that vehicle who owns it is either the bank or the dealership or a finance company which means you have to complete the five-year payment plan to get the release of the documentation then you have to go through the process of re-registering the vehicle you have to pay for that because it will be in Mr Smith's name yeah or Mr somebody or Mrs somebody's name and that's not the same name you've got so you've got to move it to you to buy that car if it's on assume now I'm only talking about assume if you see somebody selling a car second hand and it's 850,000 yeah you can buy it no problem at all and then they'll give you the documentation they'll give the car because they own it when you get this assume on it all of a sudden you don't own it they don't own it the banks own it until you've completed all the payments so you're driving or riding a bike in somebody else's name you're driving a car that's in a garage's name or it's in a uh, bank's name or it's in a loan a loan house name or a lender's name now the same happens 
with houses. And there's quite a few houses at the moment, whether it's Pass Big or whether it's a bank, but the loans are longer. Yeah, they're five, not five years anymore. You're looking at 20 years. So you go along and somebody turns around and says, it, it's 1.5 million deposit. So that's the money that the person who's got the house at the moment has put down then you've got the assumed payments to pay back then you've got the rest of the loan period for 8, 10, 15 years to buy that house now if you buy that house be wary because that house won't be in your name it will be in the bank's name or the loan house name and the original person that took out the loan will have his name or her name on those that paperwork for the loan and you have to pay to change all of that and it ain't cheap it isn't cheap it could be anything up to 25,000 peso to change one person's name to put through a new process because you're changing the name but the documentation has the loan agreement number that's registered with the bank and registered with the finance house and registered with the house housing company and registered with the government and you to make all those changes you've got to make it a payment on it so it's not easy so we're just talking this assume i'm seeing lots of these houses and cars cropping up with assume now there are second hand garages here that will sell you trucks or cars i don't i don't see many bikes i see bikes cropping up maybe every six seven months when they do you know desmark have eight or nine bikes that have been repoed and you just go in and you take them that's because the people haven't, haven't found anybody to buy it under the assume to take over their agreement take over their contract uh, so it's so the assume is you're actually taking on somebody else's contract somebody else's debt and you need to complete the trans transition period and the loan period whether it's 12 to 24 months whether it's uh, 10 years to 20 years to 30 years on houses or whether it's two years three years to six or uh, five years on a motor vehicle and i was i was talking about it the other day i found it very very bizarre that it actually it, it's a mess really don't walk into the walk, walk into the house and don't pick up that mess either buy second hand with title and ownership paperwork all in your name buy new and get everything in your name because if you buy assume you'll be paying more than paying brand new and i do, i just find it i just find it very very bizarre but there's lots of things like that that crop up on the reg, on the radar and uh, i look i look at it and i go i need to look into that more often the person I was talking to the other day turned around and said that they bought a car with an assume um, that was six years ago uh, and it was only last year that they could actually get rid of all the payments and the car was owned by them however they still had to turn around and do the re-registration they had to turn around and change do the change of ownership because it was in the person's the, the previous person's name while they were doing it and that was a that was a Toyota Hilux three litre from 2019 so assume would I go down that route no keep away from it uh, it's a poison chalice it's a money pit it's there to, to, to turn around and take on other people's debt and liability and for that person to get out of dodge with all their money uh, and there, you can't get any discount on it you can't the the owner who owns owns it has put down 1.5 million on something 
you're not going to get it for 500,000 and save a million. However, if you go to a housing company or you turn around and you want to put down a deposit, you can negotiate and you might get a 20% discount on cash. What you don't know is what discount that person got on that car or that house or that scooter because they walked in and it was on a deal. It was on a promo. You don't know what that deal is. You just know that at the moment it's sitting in the garage and the garage are putting those scooters at, you need to put in at least 100 to 200,000 deposit. The more deposit, the lower your loan and the better your deal. So you're better buying new and doing your own deal. Keep away from the assumes. Just a heads up guys, just a heads up. Annie sent me a message today. She turned around, she went to the new um, donut coffee shop down at um, uh, Holy Cross. Um, she didn't like the donuts and she didn't like the coffee. She said Krispy Kreme donuts were better and uh, tea and coffee bean coffee was uh, much better. Just give you a heads up. I'll go down there and have a look. The donuts look nice, she says they don't taste very nice. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, share with your friends.